I think the queer community deserves a beautiful, functional space. I mean, this building 30 years ago was a completely dilapidated, hard-won space that we, we needed for the worst of reasons. In the very beginning, we had no staff in a really run-down building with a leaky roof and nothing really worked. You did what you could with what you had. And then over time, the institution grew. The needs of our future really necessitated kind of revamping the space. Building upon what's already here and trying to create an environment that maximizes the use of this building. Well, I think you feel the difference as soon as you walk into the center and it sends the message immediately, this is a place where we care about you. When I come to the center, I'm comfortable. Like, there's this sense of self that I have here. You're entering in and you've got the sort of full width of the building. The cyber center, which was tucked away on an upper floor, is now to your left. And a cafe, which was never here, means that there's a new life going to be entering into that lobby. The changes that we've made to the center are going to enable people to come and stay. They can also come and get their cultural needs met, you know, get queer books and open mic that happens there and authors coming in and doing readings. We've got the library, which is the lending library. You know, anybody doing research can come to the archive. Literally, the archives have opened themselves up. The first floor auditorium has the carve-outs for the art. Arts, uh, which, which were painted on the very surfaces of the brick or the plaster, dating back to, to shows from the, the 80s. Preserve that stuff. Find a way to make that more important to the experience of the center. Renovating the space and like having all this like new stuff happening here will help navigate that for young people to like keep them off the streets, to keep them involved in the community, to make sure they live healthy lives. Now I feel like there, there is not a way that the physical space is holding people back. It just enables people to do whatever they want to do. I want to help young people express their stories through art, whether that's poetry, spoken word, dancing, singing, acting, whatever that is, and create a concert. Any kind of town hall, rally, preparation. Kind of the variability and the possibilities of doing different things is much greater. I think that the space should also reflect sort of how we feel. As we transform the building, the symbol of the community changes. We worked really hard to renovate the building to send the message that our community matters. We've come a long way, where we were in 1983 to where we are today, through many stages and phases to get to this point. And the building is the physical manifestation of that. So this is kind of like a triumph. It's a monumental thing.